Thanks for stopping by my channel. In this video, we're gonna be talking about cross-site scripting, and I don't wanna just show you how to do a simple alert with a XSS. We're actually going to be pulling off a cross-site scripting, and I came across this capture the flag about a month ago. I did it, and it's actually a really interesting box. The box is schooled with Hack the Box, and if you're interested in doing this box later, it's really a fun one. It's kind of a medium level box, maybe even hard if you're new, because it really has a a lot of steps to it, but I thought this would make a really great video because a lot of times when you're new, all you see is people show you how to do a simple alert, but not actually how to steal a cookie and then take over somebody else's session so that you can access their information inside their portal. So we're gonna go ahead and jump into it and check this out. Okay, so here we are, and I wanna show you a little tip before I actually show you the cross-site scripting. If you're ever doing a capture the flag and you come across something that says you're gonna have a announcement or something like that, and we're gonna, I believe the announcements are in here, and reminder for joining students, and we're told right here, this enrollment is for the course, and that doesn't really matter, but it says that, you're going to be removed from the course. They're going to be manually checking something right here. If you ever see something like this inside of a capture the flag, then this is going to be a cue that there's probably some kind of automatic process running in the back end that is going to be checking this. So you know that somehow you need to be exploiting that. I've seen this with FTP before where I got a file off an FTP server and it said it was going to be checking all the files that were uploaded to it, which meant we had to upload a document that then was executed on the back end. So this in a capture the flag is going to tell you that some something's running on the back end and we need to exploit it. And we're told that it's going to be in the profiles so we can come to the profile right here and then we're going to edit the profile and if you're looking for a cross-site scripting there's a lot of different ways to look for them but if you're going to come across one in a capture the flag you can just come in here and you can do something simple like put in a bold and then something or you can put in an emphasis or you can put in strong or some kind of tag like this and what will happen is it will execute this so let's go ahead and close this off and then if we hit update it should emphasize for this for us, which is basically strong is just going to make it bold. Um, an easier way to do that would just be with the B instead of the strong. But we have this right here, so we know that it's executing HTML. I'm going to go ahead and type out the payload that we would need for this. And if you wanted to check this, you could actually go script like this and then a script tag. And then we can put our alert in here and then we could update the profile and it should pop in cross-site scripting for us and we have it right here so we know that cross-site scripting works but I want to show you how to actually steal the cookie and then my username will change up here so if we come in here what we will I'm going to type it out and then I'll walk you through what is going on okay so we have our script tag and we're just going to put the source to the script as our IP address which you can see I have my IP address right here from hack the box and then we're going to have it go out and grab a file for us right here cross site scripting dot js and then it's going to execute that file for us and I don't think I need a closing script tag so we'll try this and if it doesn't work I can go and fix that so now what we'll do is go to our Kali machine over here and we have used the Python server in the past but the first thing we need to do is gedit and I've actually already written out the script here for us. And we have a document.write. This is just JavaScript. So we're wanting the JavaScript to write something for us. It's going to use our IP address right here. And then it's going to send the cookie to us. So if you want to grab a bunch of different cross-site scripting payloads, it's really simple. You can just type in cross-site scripting payload into Google and then just search through GitHub pages. And there's going to be hundreds, maybe even thousands of different cross-site scripting payloads that you can try to see if any of them will work if you don't know JavaScript. And so we'll save this. And now what's gonna happen is we're gonna host this up with a Python server. So we'll type in sudo python2 and then we'll run this simple server right here. And now we have it listening right here. So this file is now gonna be accessible. So what's happening is this is gonna execute. The server is gonna reach out to our Python server right over here that's listening and it's gonna grab this file. It's gonna execute the JavaScript and then it's gonna return us the cookie once it's executed on this server. So what would typically happen is you would put this cross-site scripting onto a server and then you'd have to wait for somebody to come to this page and execute the payload or view the profile in this specific case and then you would steal their cookie and you could potentially use that cookie to hijack their session. So we can come down here and we'll click update profile 
we can come back to our little server over here and right here we have their session cookie and for us it's going to be the owner of this portal because he's the one that is checking the profiles to make sure they're updated so what we do is we just inspect this come to the storage and paste this cookie in right here and then refresh the page i got ahead of myself and this was me refreshing the page and we were stealing my own cookie. What we need to do is grab the cookie after the program has run, the has looked at our page right here. And now we can go to inspect right here, storage cookie and paste in the cookie we just took. And now if we refresh the page, you can now see we're logged in right here as the owner of this page. And so now we have access to all the things that this individual would have access to in this session. So that is how cross-site scripting works in the real world. And now if you encounter this in a hack the box CTF or really any CTF anywhere, you'll know how to pull this off and access somebody else's session. So with that, thanks for watching. If there's any videos you would like to see in the future, please let me know down in the comments. I am looking for new ideas. Thanks for watching.